Well, thank you. Here we have two forms of catalogs. We, we see the card catalog is very beautiful card catalog here uh, in uh, wooden uh, cabinets with uh, cabinet with drawers. Uh, very, very wonderful piece of furniture. Um, we previously, in the previous uh, discussions, we have discussed uh, the card catalog. And we are in the special collections here, which is another division of the University of Zambia uh, main library. And here we keep materials that are mostly technical reports, uh, dissertations, uh, theses, um, university collections, university collections uh, which is uh, uh, materials that are published by the university and members of staff in the university. And then we have also a Zambiana collection, eh? which is um, books, books uh, about Zambia by Zambians and any other. Yeah. Then we have also um, newspaper collection uh, here within here, audiovisual materials, uh, plenty of them. And then we have. Uh, uh, some materials here on micro forms micro like microfiche, micro card, and microfilm. Okay, so a very rich collection. And also within here we have we are the University of Zambia is a, 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 is a, a depository for United Nations mm -hmm. uh, publications. So we have a very rich UN collection here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also and, government publications. and government publications as well, mm -hmm. and also some publications of uh, the SADIC, eh? SADIC yeah, PTA, PTA Comesa, Comesa. Uh, Southern Africa, Southern Africa, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so it's a, a rich collection here, and it's uh, basically used for research, mm -hmm. and it's a restricted area because we want researchers only, mm -hmm. yeah. And the very rare materials, yeah, the eh, like of uh, the materials. Mm -hmm. uh, some, that's why maybe these restrictions. Were Those rare books which were published sometimes in the 1800, uh, we, we stock them here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so interesting. Uh, we, we notice another form of catalog, which is very interesting form of catalog. It's called uh, 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 a sheaf catalog. And uh, the shift catalog here, yeah, if you, if you, you see, uh, it's, it looks like a, a file. Um, and um, we, we have these which look like cardboards, but this is where we place the strips of paper. And on each strip of paper, each strip of paper contains an entry. So the entries that you find here are on strips of paper which are uh, filed here. Now, this, compared to a book catalog, uh, has got a, a, a lot of merits. It's, um, uh, it's flexible in the sense that uh, uh, you can insert uh, records of new materials, that's the entries. Uh, in their right positions where they, they're supposed to be inserted. And if you withdraw any item from the library, you can also uh, remove that strip which is a, uh, of paper, which is uh, a, an entry. So that's the advantage that it has. Uh, but uh, when subjected to heavy usage, uh, these strips can easily be soiled and, mm -hmm. and torn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one advantage, yeah. um, but you see the shift catalog tends to be bulky because as you have more items coming in in the library, as your collection grows, you require more and more strips and then one volume gets filled up, then you open another volume and another volume. If you look at this old one here, you can see that uh, the, uh, the, 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 the materials are a little bit folded and a bit torn here because of heavy uh, usage, yes. And I don't know, uh, Mr. Zulu, we still use this because... We use them because we've got a collection in the back stack. A collection in the back stack. Uh, so those guys, all the PTA, Comisa, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we put them in the back stack. 
So these are not captured yet on the online public yeah, access catalog. They are catalogs. very useful these because you yeah. know, when we were doing the migration, mm -hmm. not every thing was captured. Ah. So we still rely on these other tools. Mm. So when we're migrating to the online uh, access catalog, the computerized catalog, mm -hmm. we did not migrate not uh, and put on the catalog, captured everything on the catalog. On the catalog. So, so we still so will go back. Some of them they are not uh, showing in the OPAC. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So like recently we just finished a project. Most of the thesis mm. are not in OPAC. Mm. So we have just finished with the PhDs. So mm. that's when we are moving to the Masters now. So we have just finished with the PhDs in, OPAC. in the OPAC, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, uh, uh -huh. One of the interesting things that I've seen is you ask students to hand in CDs Yes. Uh, why don't you agree with schools to say for every dissertation that is passed, just save it in soft copy and email it to to you people so that you don't have to download from a CD? You know, I think it'll be easy. I don't know what you think about it. Because they just send it in PDF form. And the PDF form, once it's saved in PDF form, you can easily <coughs> upload it to, to... I think so. I don't know. Yeah, that, that is one, it's a, it's a good idea, because uh, what we have noticed, mm. for thesis, I think now they are complying, okay. because the, the director of, of postgraduate studies, mm -hmm. they have put it as a requirement. Okay. They cannot uh, pass you, you, you cannot graduate you, if you haven't. until you hand in a soft copy. Okay. But the major challenge now we are facing, mm. most of the schools, apart from the school of law, mm. they don't submit the student projects to the University of Zambia Library. A student projects. They don't. Do you, do you, do you so also have, require undergrad or...? Yes, undergraduates they are supposed to to deposit a copy of the, their projects. Here? Yes, okay. fourth, year, fourth year students. Okay. So only mm. the school of law? Even, this, only even the library and information studies doesn't? No, we yeah. have never. Actually, the latest is 2009. Mm. Yes, student projects. Mm, so... Sadly. We, we, we need to revisit that and see mm. because... Uh, these projects, undergraduate projects, uh, they are undervalued and yet they are very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are very important. Um, some of them uh, are very good yeah. uh, and they could be the only study done in, in that particular area. area. Mm -hmm. And therefore it's important to keep uh, an archive of them mm -hmm. in our institutional repository. So, so, yeah. so, Doc and Mr. Zulu, would it be right for me to argue that uh, you, uh, the University of Zambia Library right now uses a hybrid of different catalogs? It's, uh, it seems you've not moved completely from any of the catalogs. You seem to still use Shift, and you still you seem to still use uh, the cut catalog, even when you've moved to a digital uh, mm. types, the computer-based catalogs. Mm -hmm. Until the process of merging is complete. complete. Yeah. When, when, no. when do you think yeah. it? Because at the, at the series, they are also doing the merging. Okay. They are trying to identify those, those, those journals which are not uh, captured okay. materials. So even here, now the problem mm. is the shortage of manpower. Okay. Like right. here in the special collection, mm. as at now, there is mm. there's no, there's no catalog. Oh, mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. There is no catalog. So you, you do the you do you digitize you do you different kind of and everything. Okay. Uh, okay. Which okay. Maybe ah. We, we do ah. the aspect of catalog as in every time. Ah. That's when we shall be able to catch up because like here, due, due to the nature of materials, mm. there's a, like what the doc said. There's university collection. There's mm. Ambiana collection. Mm. There's a CCS collection. Mm. So we need the actually I'm told here, mm. there's supposed to be four academic librarians. In the special collection? Yes. Wow. Yeah, because it's a library <laughs> in the library. Right? Yeah, yes. yes, this is a library like then. Collection, like if you a librarian who is just in charge of the garment collection. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, so garment collection, so even it has got its own type of collection development. Mm -hmm. yeah, people yeah, are, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a specialized area. People yeah. are not uh, bringing in cup copies now. Yeah. So you have to follow up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no one now to follow up those issues. You need to follow up, get them, catalog them. If they have got links, you link them to the. Mm. Uh, so even the, even the special the, the mm. thesis, they have got also their own type of work. Uh, the Zambiana collection, 
Mm. A lot of Zambians are publishing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we rarely get copies. Mm. Some, a long, long time ago, people were compelled to. This, mm. I think there's even a notice on the door mm. that this is a legal deposit yeah, yeah. in inverted copa. Yes. Co co yeah. Coma. Yeah. 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 People are supposed to. So we, someone who is in charge of Zambiana should identify the local publishers yeah. and tell them that please, when there's a new mm. copy, bring. So we we need to do a lot of lobbying, um, uh, right. uh, you know, you know, mm -hmm. do a lot of lobbying, uh, and this uh, this library being a, a national uh, yeah, reference yeah. library, uh, it's the nave center of the the I mean the country, mm -hmm. yeah, used both by you know the. the the government uh, um, workers, uh, uh, the, the researchers in various uh, institutions, including non-governmental institutions, uh, uh, and also uh, even the private sector, they come here. Yeah. It's open to everyone. Yeah. Uh, and therefore, we need to enrich it as much as possible.